with you and this is something I bought from this person on Etsy. So that's their info on their business card here. And they have a little thank you card as well. It's so cute. So definitely check them out on Facebook and Instagram as well. Very cute. Now, they have their own designed little sort of vellum paper. So that's cool. So I'll uh, put that in my scrapbook along with those things. There you go. So what I bought from them are these two oh, I'm just I'll take a picture on that as well these two molds for my resin so here we have this one which is a pencil you can really see Anyway, the key ring. Okay. So, like it is, you know, I guess kind of a shaker ish with the this part because that is, you know, raised. But so this one is definitely a shaker, I think, sort of, maybe-ish. But this one is a music one. Though... I don't think it's actually a shaker. Shaker is, you know, is normally wood. Because it doesn't have a uh, raised part there. Yeah, I think when you... When you make it, obviously it turns that way. So I guess you'd have to fill in like the play button, fast forward and rewind. This bar here and the uh, part here on the other side, like in a different color or whatever. But it's not an actual shaker as in the normal shaker type sense. That makes sense. So like I could put like a little picture here or something or just but I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can make something relatively passable. Since I am still pretty new at this. So hopefully I won't have any bubbles unless I want the bubbles in there. And um yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it'll be alright. Um, yeah, so whether I'm planning to make some soon, so I'll use these two new ones and I'll put it in the video at the end of this one if I don't forget and already make the video. So hopefully we'll be alright. Okay, on to do molding. So I think two days or so. I, uh, I, get, I made a little much. So um, I decided to fill in this as well. This was this one, this bowl I got from the uh, um, resin kit by uh, Jay Dixon and Steve McDonald. So do check out that video. I'll leave it in the end card at the end. Me opening that uh, kit. But since it's this video, I decided I used the two molds that I got. So we'll do this one first. As you can see, I kind of experimented a little bit. So I don't know if it turned out all right or not. But let's hope it has. So, no, the uh, pencil. And this is the back. 
and the front. Ta da! Whether it really turned out the way I wanted it, um, I don't know. Hmm. Well, I used um, little pictures from. This one was from a blind box double I had, and this one was from a, uh, a trading card uh, packet art. You know, you know, like, I kept some of the doubles that I had, and some other bits and bobs. Yeah, lots of bits and bobs, so I can make some more with it. Um, sneeze. Mm. Hopefully not. Um, so here, yes, this is the, uh, pencil keyring thing. So this one was, uh, based on the, uh, that time I got the Incarnate Design. Um, let me just show you. I feel like the DVD case right here. I should have put it all over but... I really do need to put that on. Um, <laughs> let's see. Okay, so like, I knew this one was going to be okay since it was, you know, the plastic packaging on trading cards. I wasn't sure if this one would be okay since it, well, it did kind of float to the top, but, um, and some of the gold leaf or so really for whatever that is, got in front. But anyway, that one was cardboard. So I wanted to test out if the cardboard would stay or if it would really go soggy. It sort of did, if you can see. There's a kind of wet patch on the inside. But I have to say that's a good first, first one. So this one is the play uh, music one or is the video one? But yeah, it's very floppy. <laughs> For some reason, it's much floppier than I thought. It's like it's much floppier than this. But anyway, this is the back. I'll need to sand off the side, sharp sides anyway. It's kind of I guess I didn't overfill it enough. Huh. But anyway, I can easily just. Uh oh. So I got some glue glitter on the back. I didn't quite submerge it in the resin properly, so I might just do one coat on the back. And I'll deal with the sharp edges. And I do the resin coat on the back, so I don't have to sand it. Anyway, so front is. Ta-da! Well, that turned out pretty nice. All things considered. What more? Uh... Hmm, so if I was going to maybe do it again, I'd... Maybe move the main character bits up higher. These are the other even more there, there, but he did turn out very nicely. So I'll just and I'll fill these in. Either paint or some UV resin in a different color. But yeah, that turned out very nicely. I actually used my new um translucent ink with a tiny bit of blue mica powder to make it sparkly. I don't actually know if you can really see the sparkle. I can slightly. But like, I wanted to have like some mica powder sparkliness and the translucent blue. I think I chose the sky blue or something. I don't know. But um, yeah. That turned out very nicely. So that's that from the two molds I got in this video. So here are 
I'm very curious because this one, as you can probably see, floated up more than these other ones. And this one has is in need of to be resin on the very end. Because that is very glitter feeling. So I didn't mix it properly inside. I didn't really mix it at all. I kind of just sprinkled it on top. But yes. So I'll uh, get to do all the next shot. Here we have a very nice one. It turned out alright. Very clear. You can see it very clearly on there. It's nice. I did put some glitter. Did I put glitter? Yeah, some, well, more some glitter on the back, but it shows more better on the back. That one. But I did put some gold and silver leaf that kind of came out of the, the jar when I was moving it. So I thought I shouldn't waste it, so I just put it in this and a couple others. So that one looked out very nice. So let me just put that. Because I do need to go over. Okay, so your basic star. Very nice, very nice. Got some gold leaf. Got some red glitter. Just put them upside down so I can put some UV on the back so I don't have to get glitter on my play mat, desk mat, whatever you call it. Okay, this one, this mold had a thing in the middle, but I kind of wanted to use it the entire thing, so. So I made sure I put a little bit of resin on the diamond in the middle that you're technically supposed to avoid. But it turned out very nice, I think. Very nice. Probably should have pushed her up a tiny bit. So she get more in the diamond, but still, that's very nice. And not very many bubbles. I actually used a long bit of lighter to um, fire. Um, here's just a normal diamond. With some silver glitter. Like for this one, I could do like a different pattern or a different color in the middle. Okay, I'll fill it in with some UV resin. It's a good idea. See this one, this, I actually did manage to avoid the middle. So this is just a, you know. So this, I could actually put it on some cellar tape use it like an open bezel and put something on the inside and cure it. I'll have to put off the excess bit so I oh, that's a bit better. Yes, there are a couple bubbles that we can get, but still, all in all, it's pretty nice. Not very Sylvia glitter in there, probably. Let's see if this circle one. This one definitely feels sort of like an afterthought, really. I don't know, like, since it's sort of still, at least a thin bit, just rip it off. I need a, a thing. Use my, uh, mixer thing, my kind of other things. 
to sand it off or whatever. Yes, little circle. So, please. Yeah. Okay, so here's a triangle. There's a lot of <laughs> overspill on this one. So, normally you could just either, you know, just break it off. So I'm guessing I can probably use this and uh, maybe, you know, broke it off for some bits and uh, some other project and some other resin. So, let me throw you to a again. Alright, here's a uh, triangle with some red glitter. Okay, the last three that actually have stuff in them. This one was in the leaf pattern one. So here we go. I put a tiny bit of silver glitter on the back, which didn't really go through, but anyway. And there we have this one. It would have been smart to use a, a green or a leafy kind of character, but still. That's nice. And if you turn it upside down, it doesn't look like water. If you ignore the leaf design. Yes. That's nice. I don't think they're really... Oh yeah. I'll need some UV to seal that off a little bit. Okay, here we have this one. Some oval kind of shape. Turned out pretty nice. Doesn't look really soggy. Just a tiny bit. Very nice, very nice. And last but not least, the super glitter one on the back. I kind of dipped a bit too much. Because, <laughs> like, it's super glitter on the back. But you can sort of at least see the back kind of. Of course. Turned out very nice. Definitely need some UV on the back. But yes. Very nice. Probably should do that. So like for, for Christmas I got a, a nail lamp. I need to get the UV resin from over there, but I need to clean this off. Well. But all in all, I think the, uh, the main two projects that I did turned out very nicely. Yeah. So, thank you for watching. Like, sorry for more. Leave the door for notifications. Oh, wait up.